Hey guys, uh, this video is sponsored by Freely Give. Freely Give uh, hires me to write open source code for the AI module, which is awesome. Uh, so if if you need help with Drupal and uh, AI combination or Drupal in general, AI in general, please contact us. We're a full service provider that can help you with anything on these topics. We have a lot of smart people. So it's been a minute um because i've been working on this module the ai module uh i've been focusing very heavy heavily on it and there's two reasons i haven't uh, done videos so one thing is i spent so much time on this that i i really didn't have any time uh, outside of my family to actually do any videos so you know there was just not time there's so much stuff that we want to make between my ideas and Jamie's idea here uh, that I work with that it's just just wasn't feasible uh, and we wanted to sh have a lot of stuff basically ready before Barcelona so DrupalCon Barcelona in next week but finally it's it's starting to calm down the other reason was that because it's under heavy development I didn't want to show stuff that just you know gets outdated in a month's time so uh, because of that it didn't make sense and this also is a reason why I will uh, you might have read about uh, AI search which is really cool but I'm not gonna showcase that much about it yet because it's very much still experimental stuff might change so I don't wanna showcase something that gets you know I spend a lot of time doing a video and then it's just uh, uh, deprecated this information in like a month's time but I'm gonna talk about the module today sub module today that is fairly stable now uh, that actually com comes from the OpenAI module it comes from the brain of Kevin uh, Kevin that has uh, had this in the OpenAI module but he has improved it a lot and that's a plugin for CK editor where you can give the editor uh, some different ways of interacting inside CK editor with uh, AI uh, and Kevin has spent a lot of time now uh, First of moving it then to the uh, from the open AI into a provider agnostic system like in the AI module, but he also has moved uh, moved out all of the JavaScript or abstracted it away. So now it's just a Drupal plugin system where you need to write one plugin code to create one more uh, feature for this, which is really awesome because it makes stuff a lot easier. Uh, I should also mention Frederick Walters have spent a lot of time uh, uh, fixing up stuff uh, uh, around the module to make it even more awesome. So the, these, what I'm going to show today is the brainchild from Kevin and a lot of time spent from Frederick. I have spent, outside of code reviews, I haven't spent any time on this actually. It's, it doesn't come from me at all, but um, I'm just going to showcase it so you know how to use it. Uh, so let's get started. What I have added on this site uh, before I uh, uh, started this video is I have installed the site. I've added the key module and added my open AI key. That's it. I have added admin toolbar engine uh, theme as well to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, well, I have it added Jin. I'm not using the admin toolbar actually. Um, so we're going to start with AI core and uh, install that and the AI CK editor integration. That's what we're gonna talk about today then and I'm gonna add the open AI provider. Install this and then the first thing we're gonna do is set up the open AI provider. So that's under AI provider settings open AI authentication. Just connect it to my key. If you don't know how to create a key you just click here. Save this and there's a lot of status messages here because something that can happen now is when you set up a provider if there is no default provider set up for a specific operation the provider can ask to become the default for this uh, and this is because we want as easy of an installation process as possible because the defaults are something then that the different third-party modules like the CK editor can use and there's a lot of messages here because OpenAI does a lot of stuff. It doesn't just do, you know, normal chat. It also does uh, uh, like transcription. It does create audio from text, create images from text embeddings. 
Uh, we also have two modes that's called chat with image vision, which means uh, chatting, but being able to look at images because not all LLMs or most LLMs can't do that. Uh, and chat with complex JSON, which is, uh, there's no clear definition for this, but we have set it where we feel that a model is good enough to work with complex stuff like AI search or AI automators where we're asking it to generate JSON. Uh, if you take Gem Gemma 2B or some small model, it's not going to be able to do this. So it makes no, no sense to even try to set this up for those kind of stuff. If you want to change this, this is under AI, AI default settings, and you can change to whatever model you want for these different things. Uh, but you're just going to see what fits. So if you look at complex JSON, you see there is no GPT 3.5, for instance. It's just not good enough for that. Uh, same with you know image vision you're not gonna see 3.5 because it can't do vision or or actually the uh, new model 01 can't do vision so you wouldn't see it there as well when you have done this for the ck editor then the important stuff is under content authoring text formats and editors we're gonna go into full html uh, because this is the one we want to change and oh the configuration was there like just let me save here because i i tested this one time so this is how it's gonna look when you install it you just have to take the ai seek editor drag it down here it's gonna show up ai tools here and then you just enable the stuff that you want to use and there's currently four plugins that comes with it there's a very simple summarization i'm not gonna show that that's very simple you just enable it basically there's translation, uh, where you can translate text. There's generate with AI, where you can generate text from just a description inside your CK editor field. And there is tone that can rewrite the text in a certain tone. But what is cool with this now is that you can connect these to actual taxonomies. So you can create your own list of two tones and own list of translation languages. Uh, and also how it's supposed to generate this. So I'm going to show this now. I'm going to just here open uh, taxonomy and add a vocabulary that we call tone. And I'm going to add a term that I call angry. So we could leave it at this. Or you, what you could even do is you could create the tone of voice. And then there is actually uh, the... Uh, possibility to turn on allow auto create then instead of a select field this becomes an autocomplete field where people can start adding their own stuff because you might know, not know of all the tone of voices that you want on the website or that your users want on the website uh, but you want them to be reusable so you see them when you start typing but in this case we're gonna uh, at least for the uh, at least for the tone of voice we will create them ourselves but the cool thing is here also, you can use the description field to actually say how it should uh, translate this tone. So you can leave it with angry. What's going to happen then, there's going to be a prompt that says, uh, can you take this text snippet and rewrite it as the tone of voice that is angry? Something like that. That's not verbose, but it's something like that. But instead, if you add a description, it's going to use that description as well, like how you're going to use it. So. I will write here, sound very angry and use the word bad at least twice. Okay. So this is going to sound very angry and use the word bad at least twice when we use this. And then we can do positive, be very positive and write how appreciative you are. And write thank you to the audience. So we have two uh, very distinct tone of voices. We're just going to reload this. I have to drag it here now again because I never saved. And we go to tone and we're going to choose tone here then. And then we're going to enable it. Oh, while I'm doing that, I can add another uh, vocabulary here, just called uh, translation language. 
but this I'm not gonna add any terms we can add our outer grate there okay uh, tone we still have and we use term description for tone description allow that and here you can choose the model by the way as well uh, the other thing then is that we're gonna use translate and in this case we use translation language we enable it and we allow auto create in this case uh, for generate with AI we just enable it we can let the AI provider be there so now when we have done that we can just start adding our content as our editor you're gonna see this well I'm gonna choose full HTML because that's what we change in this case and I'm gonna start with generate with AI so I click on this and I can just write here what I want to do so uh, uh, write me two sentences about penguins and yeah, I just click generate and it's gonna write me two sentences about penguins now then and uh, if I'm not happy with that I can always just regenerate regenerate and when I am happy I just save changes to the editor or I can of course even cancel if I'm not happy with anything and when I've done that I can mark text now now I'm gonna use the tone of voice so we take tone we select that we want the first sentence here then to be angry so penguins are bad the bad so you see it's using bad two uh, uh, times it's using our way of writing it uh, we take this one as well and take tone but we take happy or positive instead here change the tone it's gonna say hopefully thank you yes and be very appreciative so so that is tone of voice what we can do then as well we realized okay we wanted this actually in Spanish so then we you see here is autocomplete instead so I just write Spanish click translate and we get this in Spanish instead and now if I were to uh, try to translate this again and start typing Spanish you see it's there because it's autocompleting uh, so that is it that's the CK editor uh, uh, module and yeah thanks to Kevin thanks to Frederick again uh, hope you like to use it